Benvenuti alla quinta edizione di, del Caposca di Short Film Festival. Siamo qui con uh, il regista di I Wish My Life, Joachim Huberners. Sorry for my pronunciation. Uh, so, let's start with the question. Uh, this year, many films are focused on the male characters, uh, analyzed from different perspectives. Your protagonist is a woman, uh, but she's also analyzed from a male perspective, isn't she? Um, do you want to convey a certain message for your movie? Um, link it to the women world or yes it's it's a little bit of a criticism on uh, human behavior because some people who saw the movie was telling to me yes but the guy is getting what he wants and a girl not but it's the opposite because uh, the girl is, is in my movie is artificial but she is the only human person in all the movie So I think I'm with her and I'm not with the guy or something. So I think um, it is her perspective and not really from a guy, I think, because at the end she is going to the world she wants to see and it's not that she is programmed to see the world how the guy wants her to see the world. So if you understand. Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah. I got it. So. Uh, how and where did you get the inspiration for your short movie? Um, sure. As a kid, I, I liked um, all movies with artificial intelligence. And I saw a movie of Quantic Dream that uh, a French game developer. Mm -hmm. And they showed a movie with, uh, with a girl, with a robot. And they were um, making her, so with the legs and the arms. Mm -hmm. And there was an interviewer and, and he was asking questions. And at the end, um, she was too human. So they deactivated her and at the end, there was only her, her face and she was crying to let her live. And then they said, okay, you can live. So they wanted to make a robot that was very human-like. And that for me was the biggest inspiration. Great. Yeah. And um, can you tell us something about the technical aspects of your films? For example, the beautiful song that uh, gives a human face to the protagonist's fascinations. Well, when, when I was writing the movie, um, I knew I needed a song because the song in the movie was um, when she is humming it, mm. at the end you know she didn't lost her memory. So I... Uh, Months before I, 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 I filmed it, I um, called the composer, a composer I really liked, and I said, well, I need a song. The song is really um, catchy, so you have to remember it afterwards. And he had sent me a lot of things, and I chose that one. And at the end, after we filmed it, um, we were thinking about, we want, uh, song a vocal with it yeah. with the text i didn't need that up front because that was only the humming i needed in the film and yeah that was one of the technical aspects and okay. the other thing maybe the science fiction yeah the science things. fiction uh, it, was, it was my first science, uh, science fiction movie so um i knew a guy from uh, my class who was very good in it mm -hmm. And I, I write everything down and I just asked him, is it possible or not? And, and he was not sure, but we tried it and it, most of the things worked. Okay. So, yeah. And for example, how did you choose the actors? Um, it, it are famous Belgium mm -hmm. actors, so I had the list and the girl, I, I think she is, a, she is a very good actress and Uh, the look of her was exactly what, what I wanted for, uh, for her to be. And the guy, um, the old guy, that, uh, that's a comedian. And I, uh, he has comical movies in Belgium, so that wasn't really, um, how do you call it? A lot of them sh uh, shall not choose him to be that role. But I just, I needed, Somebody like him with that 
face and I'm not too big, a little bit old. And, yeah. and the guy, the, the guy in the dreams, the boy, I, I knew him. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, um, did you have any problems while shooting the movie? If yes, which kind? Um, I always spent a lot of time at um, at my short list, mm -hmm. and, and I I want always enough time to shoot things, so that wasn't a problem. I, I never went over time, but one thing was a problem, and that was we had a green key uh, like this, bent green, but. There was a lot of, how do you call it, if, if, it, it's, if, if it's not... Um, but it's not so... Yeah, and, and we, couldn't, uh, we couldn't do what we wanted to do. It was like a place and we wanted to make it um, like it was very, very long and, and we couldn't. So we had to make it, uh, we just changed the color and that was... Uh, one thing that didn't work. So the final question, uh, what drove you to take part in this particular festival and which are your expectations about it? Um, I, I knew from the, from the festival by my school and I didn't really know what my expectations were but I, I, I'm here since yesterday and I really think it's very, very cool, I, very magical place building is, is over my uh, expectations, so I really like it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes.